Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Roussel, and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Mike. Today we have a question from a Facebook fan wondering about coffee and hunger. So we're going to look at the effects of coffee and if it impacts your hunger. So today's reader question um, came and they were wondering, they said they've heard that coffee can take your appetite away. And they're wondering if that's true and if it's a strategy they should use because they find themselves hungry in mid-afternoon. So there was an interesting research, there are a couple different research studies looking at the impact of coffee and hunger. And coffee is interesting because it's probably one of the most consumed beverages on the planet, right? Maybe second to tea and water. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And coffee has a lot of different components. So there's caffeine, which is really the most famous part of coffee, but then there are also a lot of antioxidants and bioactives that can make coffee really good for you. So in uh, one of the more recent studies looking at the impacts of coffee and hunger, what these researchers did was they took water, they took straight caffeine, then they took decaf and regular coffee. So here we have decaf and here we have regular. And so what they wanted to know is, so <clears throat> kind of by setting up their study like that, they kind of covered all their bases. So they used water as their control, and I think that was interesting because a lot of people think that, oh, if you're hungry, I'll just have a big glass of water. Um, it's sort of some folklore from the Great Depression that having a big glass of water is gonna you know, fill up your stomach. Water doesn't do anything to impact hunger. So if you're hungry, drinking a glass of water isn't gonna help. Um, but what they found was they had people drink the coffee, and they found that after three hours, this, so this effect lasted for three hours, though they were only had participants like in the lab for three hours, so it could have sustained longer than that, but we'll use three hours as our cut point because that's all they measured. But what they found is that the people who drank the decaf coffee reported the lowest levels of hunger, so they had the greatest decreases in hunger over the course of the three hours drinking decaf coffee. And it was really interesting, if you look at the graphs, right, you had the... Um, lowest amount of hunger with decaf, and then it was coffee with caffeine, and then it was caffeine and water. So it seemed like the effect of caffeine was actually dampening and taking away from the hunger effect of coffee itself. So that when you strip caffeine out of coffee and you just get the bioactives and kind of those antioxidants and nutrients in coffee, that that's where you get the greatest impact on your hunger. So now, I really like this research study because they took it one step further. So not just relying on people's reported hunger, they said, well, what about physiology? You know, are there, are there any physiological reasons why these people would be reporting less hunger after decaf coffee? So they measured a bunch of different um, hunger hormones. And what they found was a specific hormone called PYY, which is released from your small intestine in response to a meal to signal your body that you're full and that you're not hungry anymore. What they found was that with after the decaf coffee, that PYY was increased the most. So PYY was the reason why people were reporting the greatest decreases in hunger. Now, kind of I'm gonna draw a graph with my hands just to kind of illustrate this. So basically what happened was uh, they drank the coffee, right? PYY got elevated and then it went for about an hour and a half. And then an hour and a half, it decreased back down to baseline. Now with the hunger, your hunger levels, they decreased and they stayed decreased for all the whole three hours. So even though PYY, even though kind of the hormonal stimulus to decrease hunger was only there for an hour and a half, it seemed to carry over in how people actually acted for another hour and a half. So you get that full three hours, which for most people is a great amount of time because if you're in between meals and you're hungry, you have a cup of decaf coffee, and that can curb your hunger for, let's say, about three hours. Now, I had said there are a couple different research studies on this, because previously there had been another study that found no effect of decaf coffee on hunger. But there were some differences. So one of the differences was that they used instant coffee. And what kind of self-respecting coffee drinker is going to drink instant coffee, right? Unless it's maybe you're doing like a Starbucks via in a chocolate protein shake because you're looking for a specific like mocha protein flavor. But if you're going to sit down and have a cup of coffee, you're going to like brew a real cup of coffee, right? So don't do instant coffee. 
And then also, you have to have a fair amount of coffee, which again, if you're a coffee drinker, is not a problem. In the study that showed no effect with the instant coffee, they used 200 milliliters, which is less than a cup. I think it's about between six and seven ounces, right? So it's not very much coffee. It's probably because they could only stomach that much instant coffee. Um, but then in this study, the most recent one that I've kind of, we've described and looked at in great detail, they had up to about 16 ounces of strongly brewed coffee, right? And so that's why here I have, this is a decaf espresso roast. And so this is gonna have the, the darker roast coffee are gonna have, those are gonna have the most antioxidants. And they're also gonna have the least amount of caffeine. Now this is decaf, so it's gonna have no caffeine, but darker roasts have less caffeine. So a really dark, strong brew and about 16 ounces of it, decaf is gonna be the best way to decrease uh, your appetite and control hunger between meals, okay? So if you're looking to control hunger, strong decaf coffee is gonna be the way to go. And this is a really good strategy because let's say it's mid-afternoon, like, like our Facebook fan uh, had said, that kind of in the afternoon they have trouble. Some people can't really have caffeine at three or four o'clock in the afternoon and then go to sleep at night, right? It, that it still kind of interferes with, with their sleep habits. So you can have a good strong cup of decaf coffee not get the caffeine that's going to keep you up at night, but still get that hunger curbing and that kind of appetite impacting effect. All right, so if you have any questions about this, post it below the video, either at YouTube or at my website, microsoft.com, if you're watching it there. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you check back often for lots more Ask Dr. Mike videos. Thanks a lot and have a great day.